Go on home before my boss gets ticked off. I'm not in love with you. I can't pretend that I am. Aha! I smell a little rat. That would be Pikachu right behind me. I had to sit there that entire fight and think about that dumb joke about Pikachu being behind me that I made. You won't find my boss by just scurrying around. He is alluding to the fact that we have to use warp tiles to get there. There's not actually that much lock behind the warp tiles, so don't worry. As you can see, we can explore pretty much all the floors with just the card keys. You came to save me? You can't! It would be bad if Team Rocket took over Sylph or our Pokemon. You probably weren't paying attention to that guy because you saw what's over there. How do we get there? Warp Tiles. Don't worry, that is on the required path. Team Rocket was after the Master Ball, which will catch any Pokemon. Ooh, 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 that is the final type of Pokeball. We've seen the other four. Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, and Safari Ball. Remember, we can't use Safari Balls unless we're in the Safari Zone. Uh, starting to get tired of the same types of trainers. <laughs> you mistook me for a Sylph worker? Despite your age, you are a skilled trainer. This is actually decently terrifying. Come on. Because, like, they have taken over a bunch of people. They, okay, well, we can get rid of this. Please don't be another TM. Please be something I can just get rid of. Great, a calcium. That increases our special. Who needs higher special? Uh, Bulby already has phenomenal special. Char, we really don't know, but we have barely given Char any vitamins, so we'll just give some more to Char. Why not? We already know all of his other stats are good, but we only have Ember as far as fire attacks go, and I'm very ready for a better one. And we're level 40! How? How do we not already have a better one? Uh, I'm sorry, wait. Did we already go to the right then? Yeah, why, so why did I go... Okay, that just doesn't seem like the order I would have done things. Where are the stairs? There's the stairs. Oh, sorry. What was I talking about? Oh, I remember now. Uh, Team Rocket has enlisted all of these scientists. They have gaslit these scientists into coming to work for them, these unhappy employees. So maybe Sylph isn't the great corporation that we thought it, you know, that we would presume it to be. Because all of its workers seem pretty unhappy. Maybe not all of them, but all the scientists that are still here. That guy had a regular ass Rattata. Well, good luck calling for backup. We are just taking these guys down one by one and it is so satisfying. But that Rattata was such a waste of my time on this earth. My limited time on this earth was taken up by this Rattata. It was funny, though. So it's okay. It was worth it. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers! Already three out of four. Here we go. We are close to the top, right? Because I'm kind of getting a little tired of this. Oh, please don't get poisoned. Every single time I send Snorlax out against a poison type, I get poisoned. I'm not going to show Skull Bash. Because either way, it's two turns. I mean, I could save more PP this way, but it feels more satisfying just to do damage every turn. I know that's dumb, but if I don't see their HP bar go down, I'm not satisfied, okay? It's as simple as that. Uh, yeah, well, I'd just use the obvious choice here. I could show you Thunder, but this thing's level 28. You think it's going to survive... Against Pikachu, really? It's not. But man, why don't we ever learn good moves? Why are all the good moves locked behind TMs? Why does our fully evolved fire type Pokemon only know Ember as a fire type move? What did you say he was using? I already forgot. Oh. Whatever, we can take that out anyway. No problem. Ready? One hit. 
Here we go! I was gonna be absolutely amazed if it survived, but I fully expected it to anyway. Woohoo! Oh, brothers! I'll leave you up to my brothers. What is in here? More beds? <laughs> Nothing in here at all? So they should have put a Team Rocket grunt asleep in the bed or something. That would have been funny. Charming. Wonderful. What is the point of you? You're causing us problems. So, what do you think of Sylph Building's maze? Why does it exist is my question. This is not... I would not want to work in these conditions either. They wonder why all the scientists hate them and have actually begun working for an evil... Not even company. I guarantee you Team Rocket doesn't have a business license. They did open the game corner though. I don't... Do mob bosses get corrupt business licenses? I don't know. And even if Sylph is finished, buddy, I mean, the products are still going to exist. You may not have your job, but the world will still operate on a functional level. I mean, Team Rocket is... Even if they monopolize everything, the products will still exist. See, it's a complacent attitude like the one I just had that enables there to be evil in the world. <clears throat> Luckily, of course, red-headed Nintendo protagonists always take down evil no matter what. Good lesson to teach kids, I like that. What floor are we on? My brain is melting. How long have I been doing Silph Co? I don't know how long the video is for you guys, but it's been an hour for me. It honestly doesn't feel that long. I'm, I'm only slightly bored. I, I'm, it's a weird part of a game when you're bored and having fun at the same exact time. Like equal parts. Your Pokemon have weak points. I can nail them. <laughs> you hammered me. Exploiting weak spots does work. Think about element types. Thanks, buddy, for the advice. I was laughing because I was thinking of how I recently learned where the old, I guess you'd call it a meme, uh, attack its weak points for massive, massive damage comes from. <laughs> hey, Rocket Brother! I forgot to switch Snorlax out of the lead, but oh well. He can get some more experience. He'll be fine. <laughs> so for those who don't know, uh, it was at E3 or some conference... And I think it was Microsoft was showing off a game. Maybe it was Sony. And some big guy comes out. And he's like, this game has so many boss fights based on historical Japanese events. And then he immediately shows off a giant crab boss fight. <laughs> which is clearly not based on a historical Japanese event. I don't know what he said. Okay, well I didn't choose a bad choice. I don't know why I swapped out in the first place if I saw Drowsy pop up on screen, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> and then during the demonstration, all stoically says, uh, and uh, attack its weak points for massive damage. Sorry, I messed that up entirely. I haven't actually seen the full press conference, but man, that sounds like an E3 moment to remember. Of course, Nintendo has those too, with Reggie saying my body is ready and all of that. But I missed that. I didn't know E3 existed in 2007. I was 8, I think. Was that 2000? That had to have been 2007. I don't know. I don't know who else is coming out now, but we're going to send out David. Oh no, bad choice! This is not... I need to pay attention to what's happening. I need to stop. Uh... Uh, Pokey, you come back. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now I'm, I'm getting too excited for the Christmas party. And I feel... I keep having dreams because I feel badly about people I didn't invite to the Christmas party. I just tried to keep it small and I had to ex exclude some good friends. And some of my friends don't like each other. So because of a fight that two of them had, I had to decide between, you know who I thought would be the more social, you know, person to enjoy the party between a different friend who usually gets a little anxious, so I thought maybe he would 
not mine so much, but I, I feel dirty because I haven't told him about the party. So I don't want to be like, hey, there's this party, but you shouldn't come because it'd be awkward because this other guy's going to be there. And it's a shame because he's the, he's the one that's more okay than the other guy is in their situation. I don't know. It's just awkward, but I, I got to hang out with him soon and invite him to the next party. But I had a dream where he got mad at me because I didn't invite him to my birthday party. And he was getting all upset. WARG! Brothers, I lost! My brothers will avenge me. They did not. They have failed you. <laughs> we get, is Red getting excited every time? I'm going, BINGO! Because I doubt it. Uh, I want you to be in the lead, Pokey. I'm always the most concerned about you. Hmm. A lot of beds. And is that the nurse sprite? I think it is. You look tired. You should take a quick nap. Don't give up. That's right. That is a Pokemon Center. It's a full heal. Okay, she doesn't have any post-nap text. She just lets you nap over and over. While she watches over you, I guess. And I guess she would scream if another Team Rocket member comes near. Oh, wait, that was the second hidden item. I was like, where's the second hidden item? I need to know. I think this might be the necessary warp tile. I'm not positive, though. Your Pokemon seem to adore you, kid. Your Pokemon seem to adore you, kid. Would have been a way better way to do it. His end of battle text was, Gah! If I had started as a trainer at your age. Oh, this guy's kind of sad. Sorry. Uh, we're on the ninth floor, by the way. I know that because of the hidden item. Uh, did we already... We already... Okay, you're not gonna look at me. I know I already fought you anyway. I guess we'll make sure we fully explored the floor. Did we go all the way back here and everything? Maybe not? Hey, hey! Thank you. I just need you to look at me. He's averting my gaze because I kicked his ass. Oh, also, uh, all of our Pokemon except two are level 39. Well, and Char, who's level 40, but everybody's almost level 40. That feels great. Enough of your silly games. No continues left. Haha, <laughs> epic. Are you satisfied with beating me? Then go on home. Damn. And then I had this other dream last night, where... Wah! I'm scared! Where I was waiting on the Christmas party to start, and it was dark. And I was sitting... It, it wasn't my house. It was a house I've seen before, but I just can't remember what it is. I, it was my house in the dream. And I was sitting on this nice, tan, brownish color leather couch. And I looked across the street... And I saw the apartment complex where everybody I ever worked with at Pizza Hut lived. And I looked up at the second floor and there was my old buddy Brom. And he was looking at me and he shrugged at me like, Oh, I'm not invited to the party. As if he knew there was a party just by looking at me sitting on the couch waiting for the party to happen. And then I motioned for him to come on over and he was coming on over. And I'll continue the story momentarily. Welcome to the 10F. So good of you to join me. I'm stunned! Nice try, but the boardroom is up one more floor. Lots of items over here. Am I gonna have to warp out for this? Oh, we can put our SS ticket up. What am I doing? Oh, I don't want to get rid of all this stuff. It's all decent stuff. Alright, well, you know what? I'm gonna dig and then come back. It's the 10th floor, so... Who cares? But then in the dream, you know who walks in the door? My old friend Seth, who I haven't talked to in ages. And he blocked me on Facebook and he won't talk to me anymore. I don't need to heal. But he came in and I said, Seth, you're here. I thought you were mad at me. And he said, no, I've just been busy. Seth, I miss you, but I didn't steal my wife from you. Okay? She was never interested in you. 
So I don't know why you're mad thinking like eight years after I meet her, like I can't believe you stole her from me. I'm sorry that I, I cut in front and I cock blocked you by talking to her. I didn't know you were flirting with her. You gave her your number so you could talk about horses. Carbos, okay. Rare candy, extra okay. That's Delectabear. TM26. First and foremost, let's carbose it up. Who is too slow? We keep getting outclassed by a few things. I think I'm gonna give it to wind up. Wind up is rather slow. Rare candy, we're gonna hold on to until somebody levels up again. Holy shit. Oh my god, there's so many good moves to give wind up. I really wanna give that to wind up, but that would be good on David too. Uh, we don't have any ground types, so it's not like it... Uh, if we're not going to give David Reflect, I guess we can just have a, another really nice offensive move. Ooh, Rock Slide's Rock Type. If we ever need a Rock Type move, we'll keep that. Let's get rid of Karate Chop. We don't need it. Earthquake is one of the best moves in the game. It's very powerful. Oh, that's good. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and look up how much power it has. The move Earthquake has 100 power. So it's like Dig, but it executes in one turn. Just one. All right, we already went this way. What, you're walking around? You're just nervously pacing back and forth? Okay. All right, we've got one more floor and that's it. Oh, this is exciting. Look down in there, ooh. Yeah, who do we have up here? Uh, yeah, we'll leave David in the lead. We can just walk past you? Because we can't access it, obviously. Basically, I mean, what kid didn't just go straight to the 11th floor to take care of Giovanni and that was that? I mean, when I was a kid, this was the first dungeon where I was like, no, I'm not fighting every trainer. I can't do it. But basically, you just find this guy. HALT! Do you have an appointment with my boss? Watch your step. My boss likes his Pokemon tough. We already fought him before. He'll have to have had a lot of training <laughs> between last time we fought him and now for him to be a challenge at all because we've done a lot of training and I imagine he doesn't have that much time to do a lot of training. But I am going to start actually venturing guesses on where the... Oh, it's not going to be here. It's going to be on the ninth floor. Now, I think this is going to be the correct warp tile, but I'm not positive. Oh, I was wrong. Now I'm trying to remember where that other one was. You know what? Let's go ahead and guess this one. Oh my god. I didn't even have to look at it. Oh shit! Oh, I didn't get to save. What kept you red? Oh, I'm kind of scared now. Thanks, controller. I didn't want to walk over an extra step. Ha ha ha! I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. So we climbed all the way up here. Oh man, oh man. See, this is where Blue becomes kind of a villain. He doesn't care about Team Rocket and what they're doing. He's just complacent. He only cares about himself and getting stronger. And that's whack. We actually have a move that is good against Sand Slash on Snorlax. So let's see. How well do we perform here? Oh! Shockingly good. Okay. Okay. Well, I didn't expect that much damage, but I guess Slash is in Sand Slash's name. This commentary has gotten so bad. <laughs> Whew! Let's see how well equipped we are to handle his Pokemon. I feel like we'll be fine. I feel like we don't need to save. This is the evolution of Vulpix. That we have not 
seen yet. Very beautiful creature. We can only get Vulpix in yellow through the game corner. And by evolving Vulpix with a Firestone, we can get Ninetales. Well, we can take pretty much everything out decently easily here. Cloyster, the evolution of Shelder. Uh, yeah, we'll use Fabric. Sorry, Bull, but you get no time in the sun today. Cloyster looks like a vagina, first of all. We're going to go ahead and show off Thunder and how it always misses. <laughs> That is why Galen said he was not dumb enough to use Thunder, but I mean, it's a 70 or 75% chance. You're more likely to hit it than not. Just play the probability game. But Cloyster Shell is so hard, uh, it is said to be completely unaffected by Napalm Bombs. It says that in that Pokédex book that was Japan exclusive that I keep talking about. What's interesting about that? is that there are napalm bombs in the Pokemon world, connecting back to the idea of a war that Lieutenant Surge was in and everything. Just nice subtext in the world that they use napalm bombs in Kanto. Kadabra. Uh, well, we don't have anything insanely good against Kadabra. Should we try Wind Up again? Maybe if we shouldn't, because... Wind-up special is a little bit low. But we'll see what this does. Uh... <laughs> okay, never mind. The AI is too dumb. Blue... That was the worst move you could have possibly done. You probably could have decimated Wind-up. You know, in just one use of... Psychic? If you had Psychic? You probably didn't have Psychic anyway, though. Um, you know what? Maybe we should let Bulby shine here. Everybody's level 39. I can't believe it. Except Char, of course, who always has to be ahead. Uh, yeah. Why not, Bulby? You do it. You've earned it. This is our first time seeing Blue's evolved Eevee. What he evolves Eevee into actually depends on whether you win or lose to him or don't fight him at all in those first two battles. Of course, you have to fight him in the first battle, but not the second one. Pin Missile is a bug-type move, which is why it's so devastating against Bulby there. Uh, we're actually going to switch out. <laughs> Who should we use? I don't want to use Char. But whatever, we'll use Char. You've earned it. I'd like to point out that Blue is... Just as powerful, if not weaker, than Koga. <laughs> Why? I mean, Venomoth did not need to be level 50. More evidence that you know, they were originally trying to push you toward doing Saffron before Fuchsia. That was weird. Why did we match it in speed? Either way, Red defeated Blue. Always feels good. Oh! So you are ready for Boss Rocket. Well, Red, I'm moving on up and ahead. By checking my Pokédex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. I'm going to the Pokémon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Red, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya. The bastard. Oh, hi! You're not a rocket! You came to save us? Why, thank you! I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. Red got Lapras. Nah, no nickname for Lapras. I thought about using Lapras on my team. It's Lapras. It's very intelligent. We kept it in our lab, but it will be much better off with you. I think you will be a good trainer for Lapras. It's a good swimmer. It'll give you a lift. Lapras was originally envisioned to be the ultimate Pokemon to use Surf. It is a water ice type. But since we were already using Blastoise, I decided against using Lapras. Who, yep, is very close to the bottom here. Does not evolve, by the way, so don't take this to mean it's an evolution. I actually don't know who that is. What number 132 is. The Transport Pokemon. A gentle soul that can read the minds of people. It can ferry people across the sea on its back. Now, <coughs> I may have mentioned this before, 
but... Oh no, how do we get back here? I'm just gonna follow this. <laughs> uh, Pokemon were ranked by the development team by intelligence by Satoshi Tajiri himself. Which is why Meowth in the anime can understand and speak human languages. And uh, Lapras is considered the most intelligent of the original Pokemon. It can't speak human languages, but it can completely understand them. All right, I was gonna cut this out, but since we're already basically back here, let's go for it. All right, who do we want to be in the lead? We want... Mm, well, let's go with Fabric. Ooh, look at that. Miraculously all lined up in a row of when we got them. Beautiful, I love that. Hold it right there, brat! Our boss is in a meeting. You better not disturb him. The final battle with Jesse James and Meowth. Here we go. I wonder what they're going to have. Ooh, starting off with Weezing. Okay. Let's try our Thunder. God, that's always so satisfying. Weezing has a lot of either special or HP. Jeez. But that's okay, because we still have Thunderbolt for a surefire way to take anything out that manages to survive Thunder. Whoa! Finally, level 40 and 100 HP. Beautiful. Alright, uh, what else should we use here? This is poison, so... Uh, we'll use Pokey, because why not? I mean, level 31, how bad could he be? Just please don't poison me. I don't want to go back and heal again. Also, the weird color tinting makes it look like pee when you use Surf. No, please. Oh my god, every single fucking time. Why? It's just Poison Sting. Why do these boss... Why does this boss battle even have Poison Sting? I get that Jesse and James are supposed to be a joke compared to the player. But, oh, come on. Uh, well, Meow's a normal type, so obviously we'll take him out with David. And then I'll go back and heal and then meet you back up here. Ooh, it's tempting to show off Earthquake, but... Nah, let's use our super effective move and destroy Meowth in one hit. Well, that was easy. Originally, that was just another regular rocket in their place. Like always! <laughs> Team Rocket, blast off at the speed of light! Again. And they never come back. That's the last of them.